Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about the season premiere. They just released a synopsis that has a lot of spoilers and a lot of stuff to expect in this episode that we didn't know was going to happen. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay, so as you guys know, Supergirl is coming out March 30th. Currently right now it is March 14th. We don't have very long to wait until we're gonna get Supergirl back. We should be expecting a trailer very soon. They just released the first seven episode titles. Also, we have another episode title to go over in today's video because that was actually revealed, actually kind of accidentally revealed, but that is for episode 12 of this season. So we know that as well and we'll go over that later in this video. And so, like I said, we're expecting a trailer very soon because it's literally just over two weeks away until we get the show back. So be on the lookout for all the content, and remember, we're going to be covering it all on this channel, the best place you guys can get your Supergirl content, so please be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss our daily videos on Supergirl Season 6. Okay, let's go ahead and get right into this. So, Supergirl Season 6, Episode 1, the premiere. So, this is actually a kind of a continuation from the season finale. Because of restrictions and them having to stop half of their episode, they're going to be continuing those threads that may have been actually tied up at the end of the season. However, things didn't turn out how they were supposed to, but they have adapted and it seems like they are playing along with some of these storylines in episode 1 as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and break down the season premiere synopsis. So it goes season premiere. As Brainiac lays close to death after trying to stop Lex Luthor, Supergirl and the team must soar in to save him, engaging in an epic battle with Gamanai. After defeating Leviathan, Supergirl turns her attention to Lex, who has used the Obsidian platform to brainwash half of the world to love him and follow him at all costs, no matter what horrible things he does. Knowing how dangerous this makes her brother, Lena enlists the entire team, Alex, Jean, Dreamer, Kelly and Brainiac, to help. But Supergirl realizes that the only way to truly stop Lex is to sacrifice herself. So now this teases a whole lot. We have so much theorizing to go through. Let's go ahead and start to break this down. So the first bit starts like this as Brainiac lays close to death after trying to stop Lex. So we know that Brainiac's gonna be fine. However, we did leave season six with a cliffhanger or one of the cliffhangers was that Brainy was about to die. I believe he was inside Leviathan's headquarters and the last we saw of Nia was that she was on the way to save him. But according to the synopsis, it seems like the whole team is coming because it says Supergo and Team Soren to save him. Meaning that, yes, he does get saved and we're going to see more Brainy. He's not going to die, but he is near to death. And so, just at the start of the episode, obviously they're continuing on from what they had last season by tackling the kind of loose ends that they had right away. So you're going to have them engaging with Lex, which we'll get to in just a second, but they're going to be dealing with Gamine as well, aka Gemma. So, you know, at the end of the season, she turned into that crazy kind of psycho robot lady and all of us freaked out because we were like, who the hell is she? Like, what is she actually? And so maybe we'll find that out. And so she's actually coming back. And this was kind of surprising for me to see because I wasn't expecting that. I kind of expected, considering things got halted and I know a lot of storylines didn't get finished, I expected her storyline to maybe go unfinished because I didn't know if they could get the actor in or not. However, it seems like they have and they've been able to finish her story. So it seems like, as it says, engaging in an epic battle with Gamanai, and then it continues by saying after beating Leviathan that basically Gemma aka Gamini is going to be defeated very fast and obviously she is the last standing member of Leviathan so in the synopsis it says they defeat her so that means that she's going to be defeated and Leviathan is going to be gone and then the next threat they're going to have to face is Lex and it seems like they're doing most of this in just this one episode. Which is very interesting because it's going to be very action-packed because this is basically a replacement for the finale. Because if you guys didn't know, the finale was half of the penultimate episode and half of the finale. And so I reckon half of this is like the back half of what we didn't get in the actual season 5 finale. Now we're going to get it in season 6 episode 1. Kind of similar to what happened with The Flash. So it's going to be an exciting episode. So March 30th, don't miss out on that. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. So Supergirl turns her attention to Lex. Right, this is right after defeating Leviathan. Lex is the main threat that they have left. And it continues, who has used the Obsidian platform to brainwash half of the world to love him and follow him at all costs, no matter the horrible things he does. 
And so this is interesting because this must have been his final plan that was teased because at the end of season five, he went off with his mom and he had the kind of equation to all of the Leviathan members immortality. So it seems like he's devised a plan using that power that he's got and he's using the obsidian platform that was already being used via Leviathan and he's going to use it to brainwash half of the world to love him and follow him at all costs. I guess this is very familiar because in season one, if you remember, we have Myriad and it does a similar thing. But now instead of following what Leviathan want to do, like with what we saw in season five last year, they're going to be following Lex at all costs. And now this calls for Supergirl to take action, obviously, because he is brainwashing half the world. And it's also interesting to note that the synopsis mentions Supergirl so many times. So that means they have enough scenes to make Melissa's part in the episode big. This has been another question that we've been asking. Obviously, we knew that she literally spent like a month going back and filming stuff that she missed because she didn't come back when the other cast members came back. So it seems like with the unused footage from the season finale and her going back and filming extra stuff just recently, we're going to be seeing a lot of Supergirl and that is very exciting. Okay, let's move on to the next thing. So knowing how dangerous this makes her brother, Lena enlists the entire team, Alex, Sean, Dreamer, Kelly and Brainiac to help. This bit confirms that basically Lex is going to be the main villain of episode 1 after they defeat Gemma. It seems like Lena is going to be joining Team Supergirl and taking point. Also, it must be noted that Katie McGrath has been seen filming around the tower set. So I would say there is a high possibility that she's going to be officially joining Team Supergirl and knowing that they're going to be teaming up against Lex, it seems more and more likely that she's going to be joining the team. And so the team includes Alex, John, Dreamer, Kelly and Brainy. So Brainy's fine. And so everyone's going to be teaming up against Lex to try and stop whatever he's doing. So I'm not 100% sure if they're going to fully finish the Lex Luthor storyline. I don't think John has been back on set recently. And they actually did reveal that Lex was supposed to die at the end of last season if things were to turn out the way they were supposed to. However, with them not turning out, that is why he's in the season premiere and he could possibly be in later episodes. It depends if they actually kill him off. And we don't know that right now, so let me know in the comments down below. Do you think that Lex Luthor is going to die at some point in this episode or do you think he'll return at some point? Also, there's reason to believe that his mum is going to be involved in this storyline in episode one. We know that the actor for Lillian Luther was there for a bit. However, she did leave pretty soon after, so maybe her role in this episode is pretty small because maybe they take her down fast. But it seems like Lex is gonna be the main focus of that storyline with Team Supergirl trying to stop him. And so this kind of would have been the finale and what you would have seen because we know they shot a bunch of stuff with Lex that wasn't included in the episode. There was this one scene outside they were shooting and they were all looking up in the sky and Lex was off camera so John was there and he was obviously doing some sort of voice overlay. So it seems like he's heavily involved. There would have been some sort of big climatic battle with him ending up in his death. But right now we don't know if he's gonna die or not. However, someone else might die because in order to stop Lex, the synopsis says, Supergirl realizes that the only way to truly stop Lex is to sacrifice herself. Now, that was the crazy bit in the synopsis because it basically reveals Supergirl is going to do whatever it takes to stop Lex from brainwashing half of the world. And so she's going to sacrifice herself, guys. Like, she's going to fully go into this. And maybe this might be an explanation why Melissa is less in the first couple of episodes they might do a death of Supergirl storyline. Obviously, this could be a riff on the death of Superman. We've seen that a lot. And it's a very famous storyline, and this would be a good way for Supergirl to sacrifice herself, but then come back and actually pay a part because she's not there for like a few episodes, but she does come back because she is Supergirl after all, and she's Kryptonian. So that's just a theory right now. I don't think they're actually going to do that. Like if Supergirl dies at some point, She's going to come back like the next episode or the episode after. They're not going to go like three episodes into Supergirl's final season and not have Melissa on screen. Obviously, she was away and she wasn't able to go back and film, but I don't think she's going to be away for that long. However, we don't know what sacrifice herself actually means. Like, does it physically mean she's going to die? Because the only way that Lex can kill her is by using kryptonite. So I think what we can tell for now is there's going to be a big final battle with Lex Luthor. He may end up being defeated, but there is a chance that he will return because he is such a big character and so many Supergirl fans have loved Lex. And I think the reception would mean that 
They're probably not going to kill him off, even though they originally planned to kill him off. But that's about it for my breakdown to do with the synopsis. Let's go over that title that I teased. So this is episode 12 of season 6. This was released, and I believe this is the episode that Azzy is writing, and the episode that David Harewood is directing of Supergirl. I don't believe this is the episode that David is actually going to show up as John Diggle. But a lot has been teased about this episode because Azzy has been writing it and obviously she is the first Supergirl cast member to write one of these episodes. And so it's very exciting, I really can't wait for the episode. And so the title was actually leaked online and it officially is titled Blind Spot. So obviously titles can change but for now it seems like this is set. And so Blind Spots is the title for season 6 episode 12. What could blind spots mean? It can mean a whole manner of things. Obviously, these titles can be quite metaphorical. They do normally have some sort of meaning to what's going to be happening in the episode. And so a blind spot normally is like, say, when you're driving a car, you can't see something over there. Or maybe like you have a blind spot in your emotions, like maybe you lack a certain emotion. And I guess you could call it a blind spot. And so blind spots also in terms of superheroing, I guess it could mean like not saving one specific person like that is your blind spot. So that's kind of what I'm going with. I'm not 100% sure what blind spot specifically refers to, but it could be one of those manner of different things. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to spread that around, let people know. Episode 12 is titled Blind Spots. That wasn't released. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.